Festival here, and I had received a video request from one of my viewers on um, gear. Now, I have talked a lot about gear, and this uh, viewer had asked that I actually show some of the gear that I use, uh, as there are so many options out there, and to clarify uh, what to look for and what's good and what's not in, in gear. So, I'm going to start out with gloves. In gloves, you've got many different options, many different brands. Now, a lot of the brands that I have um, mainly is Alpine Stars. I like the way Alpine Stars fits, it's comfortable. Um, it's a pricey brand, so um, again, you don't have to buy the brand that I wear. Um, my friend, Technical Nonsense, he likes Tai Chi, and um, another pricey brand, but that's the brand he likes and he's comfortable to him. So uh, the best thing for you to do would be to go to your local gear shop and uh, try on different brands. Find what's in your price point, read reviews. Um, a lot of uh, websites out there that sell gear will have uh, people who have worn the gear, crashed in the gear, and will have a review based on how well the gear held up, um, as well as many other things on how the gear holds up just from everyday riding and normal wear and tear. So again, I'm going to start with the gloves, and my summer gloves are these Alpine Star gloves, and um, they're, they're shorty gloves, they're not full gauntlets, and if you put them on, you'll see they come up to about right here, right on my wrist, so um, it's, it's not a half or full gauntlet, and a lot of people feel that that's not good enough, um, you know, my jacket sleeve covers above this, so um, I don't have an issue with it, they're very cool. Uh, gloves have got the carbon fiber knuckle in them, so that's good if, if you uh, crash, if you fall, and then the, this will definitely pro you know, provide protection. It's hard, um, but it's very breathable, and uh, I like these. These were, I think, around 40 bucks when I bought them, and uh, I've had them for about two seasons now, and they've been on many, many miles with me, and I'm probably going to be able to get another season out of them. So these were good. These were, like I said, about 50 bucks. Um, also, uh, for when it gets colder out, and in Texas, I don't have to worry about snow so much and having a riding season. I can pretty much ride y'all year round. So uh, these gloves are good for when it's uh, December and January and it gets down to 20, 30 degrees or so. And I still want to go riding. These are a, uh, a gauntlet-esque type glove. And they're very good for colder climate weather. So uh, basically, you wear it. It's got a lot of padding and it's very, very warm. Uh, when I wear these and it's 20, 30 degrees outside, my hands are, are warm and will almost sweat sometimes because it's so warm. Um, but as you see, it's like a half gauntlet type deal. It's got, again, the carbon fiber knuckles, good for protection. It's got, you know, padding in, in each of the knuckles here, as well as a big uh, armor padding here. And again, real warm. You can tuck your jacket in here and it will help keep you warm as well as protected. These I got as a gift. Um, these, the brand, this is... Uh, I'm going to say this wrong, Hipor or Hipori, I don't know. My wife got these for me, I love them. I don't know how much they go for, uh, but again, another, this is just proof that brand doesn't matter. I, I don't know, you know, what these cost, I don't know uh, where they compare to other brands, but I like them, they're comfortable, they keep me warm, and uh, I haven't fallen with them yet, but uh, hopefully that doesn't happen in the first place. So there are many other options for gloves. You can get leather full gauntlet gloves and, and whatnot. And the price points will vary, again, based on size, based on um, the, the material it's made out of, and the brand. That's basically gloves. Second up, we're going to talk about is jackets. I have here is my Alpine Stars. Uh, I love Alpine Stars, if you can't tell. Is my Alpine Stars uh, leather. So it's, it's nice. Uh, this was also a gift from my wife. Uh, this was a Christmas gift. It's got a removable liner inside. So if it does, if I do get too hot, I can take that out. Um, but it's, it's got lots of armor. It's got armor in the shoulder, CE approved armor. Um, it's got it in the elbows here. And in the, there's a back plate in the back uh, armor in here to protect me as well. So this coat is uh, awesome. If it's 20 degrees or below, I can put this on and have a hoodie under it. And I can ride all day, no problem. Uh, so this again, I don't know how much this costs, but uh, it's it's definitely a wonderful jacket. I have used it many times, and it's it's comfortable, and it's it's got some nice weight to it, so you know it's got a good quality to it as well. Um, so I'll use this in the colder weather. Now, in the in the warmer weather, I have surprise surprise another Alpine Stars coat. This Alpine Stars coat, it's uh, a mesh type coat, uh, very breathable through all throughout the coat, uh, except for this uh, solid um, fabric here. But uh, again, very breathable. This also has a liner 
um, which uh, I do not currently have in it because it is too hot to wear the liner. Um, but, uh, you know, again, this coat I got for like $140 on sale at my local store. Um, and for the summertime riding, this thing is absolutely amazing. Um, it keeps me cool. Uh, it's red and white, so it matches my VFR now. So, uh, you know, I'm kind of nerdy like that. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, this, an, again, another great coat. Um, being that it's in the 70s and 80s, I do not want to be wearing my leather coat uh, as because I will sweat and just way too much, just be way too hot. So having a summer slash winter uh, riding gear uh, for me is, is, is very useful. And for you, depending on, you know, the weather in your area and when you like to ride will depend on what kind and how much gear uh, you need to have. There's even gear out there that is thinner for the summer and thicker for the winter time. It just depends, again, on, on you know, the weather you're riding in, what's comfortable to you, etc. Now, uh, I also wear a helmet, as everyone should, uh, whether the law states it or not, because, uh, you know, if you choose to wear the rest of the gear or not, um, you know, that's your call. Uh, if you want to be a paraplegic, that's fine, um, but if you want to be brain dead, I don't want to be paying your hospital bill through my taxes uh, for that. So, uh, this is a Speed and Strength. I got this on sale. Uh, this I got, I think, was like $130 when I bought it last year, I think. Um, again, comfortable. Uh, it, it, the thing I really like about it is it's got a removable liner inside, so I can take that out and wash that. I'm not going to take it out right now, but um, I can take it out and, and wash the liner in my washing machine. Um, and it's got lots of air ventilation in it. I've got the vent here, which I can open and close. I have uh, three vents up top. One, this is dirty as hell, but two, and uh, this one up top. So I've got three vents here, and then uh, through the back it comes out, So and, and down here as well. So your head is always ventilated real well. There is a little bit of wind noise in this, um, but it's a lot better than the HJC helmet that I had. Um, and a, a word about helmets, you don't have to buy a $600 helmet to have a, uh, a quality helmet. Uh, what you want to look for on the back is if it's DOT approved, if it's Snell approved, uh, things like that. That means it's, it's been tested and that it's, it's been deemed safe uh, by really smart people with degrees um, that this thing, if you take a spill with it, that it will protect your head and keep you safe. Now, um, I know uh, a lot of people go out and they will spend six, seven, eight hundred dollars on a helmet. That's fine if that's your thing. If you get that kind of cash, that's cool. Um, another thing um, about helmets is, you know, you see some people on YouTube who have Arise, they've got Showies, they've got Icon, um, HJC, all these different brands. The thing about the different brands are is with helmets, it's your helmet size or your head size. So if you have a flat face, a rounded face, a oval face, uh, it, it's going to be a different brand that fits you. My wife, she uses a uh, 707, I believe, is the name, and um, it fits her real good. And when when we went and upgraded our helmets when I had the HJC, the uh, store had. Uh, I had tried on some of those and they just did not fit my fat face. So I had to get something a little more um, geared towards my face. And so that's another thing. When you go for helmet fitting, you want to get a helmet that's going to fit your head properly. And if you have never worn a helmet before, get somebody who knows what they're talking about who can help you properly fit it. Because if you have a, a, an ill-fitting helmet, that's going to do just as much damage to you as not having uh, a helmet at all. So, um, again, you can get helmets anywhere from $49 to, I don't know, six, seven, eight hundred dollars um, Also, uh, you have different options. You've got the full face, which is this. You have the modular, which the bottom will flip up. And you have, uh, as I call them, just brain scoops, which is just the top half. And it'll cover you, like, you know, uh, in the cartoons, you see the, the guy with the German helmet. He's got the spike on top, those sorts of things. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, now, I prefer the full face because it offers the most protection. When you crash it, there's been statistics done, or some guy made up numbers, however you choose, uh, that basically states that the majority of the impact you're going to have is not only on the top of your head, but right here uh, for your bottom jawline. So it's, I don't want to say pointless, but it's, it's almost kind of nonsensical to have half a helmet. If you're going to hit here, this did no good for you here if this is where you hit. So... Um, you know, I would recommend a full face helmet, um, but again, it's personal uh, choice. Um, what kind of helmet you wear, I just would recommend everyone too, because uh, if you're smart enough to ride a bike, uh, you should be smart enough to protect your brain, especially if you have family, friends uh, who care about you, and, you know, want to talk to you and have a conversation where you talk back instead of, I'm drooling. Um, 
So again, um, gear, name, brand does not matter. Uh, proof of that is, and I'm off camera right now, which is fine, but uh, my friend Technical Nonsense is uh, a Tai Chi guy. His helmet is a, uh, an Araya helmet. He's got one of those fancy hundreds and hundreds of dollars um, helmets. And now uh, he loves this, uh, good ventilation again, um, removable liner and everything like that. So again, it's all based on your, um, your head size, your shape. And again, the things you're looking for is where it says DOT approved Snell. Um, if it's just DOT, that's good enough. If it's DOT and Snell, that's just as fine. Um, so yeah, his, his helmet's uh, a lot more expensive than mine. Uh, but you know, again, uh, to each their own. And here is my friend's Tai Chi coat. This is a mesh coat as well. I can actually almost see through parts of it. Um, but uh, good thing I didn't breathe in. That was right near his armpit. Uh, but yeah, another mesh coat. And uh, you know, he likes it. Keeps him cool. It also has the armor in the shoulders and uh, in the elbows and whatnot. And it's got a little pad in the back too to help protect your spine. So again, name brand means nothing more to you than uh, what's comfortable and what fits in your price point. So with that being said, if you have any questions, uh, comments, feel free to leave a comment below, uh, send me a message, um, and uh, I've tried on lots of gear, um, and I can tell you what I like, what I don't like, if you need ideas on where to go to look for gear, uh, sites, etc. So uh, until next time, ride safe.